I'm Steve Voke, I'm a senior product designer at Datadog. I'm working with engineering teams across the company and as a designer, I'm representing the user and I'm representing the usability of the product. So typically our job as the design team will be to iterate and come up with lots of different potential implementations of a feature. So we look at the requirements that customers have given us and what we've talked about with product managers and then just come up with options. We could do it this way or this way and fundamentally my role, design's role, is to really think through all those options and then force a decision. As long as I've been a designer, we've had mock-ups. It's the idea that you create a, you know, an image of what a screen in an application will look like and you try to simulate the different flows of an application by basically stringing together those screens. Prototypes are to interaction design, what mock-ups are to visual design. With a prototype, you're building the real workflow. And the two great things about that are, one, it forces you to answer more hard questions sooner. What are all these actions gonna look like to the user? What are they gonna feel like? And it forces you to, to look at all those details early. The second thing is, when it comes time for the engineers to build it, they will have a much clearer understanding of what they're building, not just the size and shape of things on the screen, but how the different actions on the page will work, just how all the interactivity on the page will, will happen, and not just the, the kind of visual design. I've been working in the monitoring industry for seven or eight years now. I've worked at four different monitoring companies, and lots of things have changed in those seven or eight years. All monitoring ultimately comes back to user experience monitoring. So whatever we're doing to monitor the backend systems or what engineering teams are doing to look at the performance of their systems ultimately comes back to customer experience. That's actually one of the things that we're always trying to keep in mind as a monitoring company and as a company that, that works heavily with our users to try to make their customers happier. That's ultimately why anyone is using a monitor product is they want to figure out how to make their product work better for their customers. There are tools like Sentry to monitor the user experience of products and we have a much better understanding of the experience our customers have when we measure things like latency because page speed is a feature and we have a better understanding of the usability of our product if we know where errors are occurring. With the introduction of AI we have an opportunity to completely change how customers interact with monitoring products. For seven years that I've been in this space and probably a lot longer, the basic rules of the game are you tell the system what to look at and what to look for. So I want to look at this host and if disk space runs out, send me an alert. Or if disk space is less than 10%, send me an alert. It feels like this inevitable march forward. It has felt like this inevitable march forward that we are going to try to monitor more things, more metrics, more thresholds, and to get a more complete understanding of the systems. And that means more human effort, more human capital devoted to just watching this thing. For all the human operators that have to watch these systems and get woken up in the middle of the night, that is only getting more intense as there's more stuff to watch. And with AI, we can really turn the tables. We can have the machines watching all these different systems and metrics and looking for abnormal behavior and the machines can figure out what the abnormal behavior is. So all these manual processes we've had in place for a long time can start to fade away and we can focus on what matters most, which is getting to the root cause of what the problem is and working on the fix. 